Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I truly appreciate your love and support. Scorpio, today we are going to find out what are your important love messages and please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not apply to each and every one of you. There will be a bonus extended for this reading. Link is in the description box below. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Scorpio today. Wow, two very strong major canas, three major canas. Show me more. Okay, Scorpio, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be your person or you, the person you're thinking about or dealing with, or it could be your energy. Okay, let's see a little bit more. Looks like with the world here, a lot of you are closing out your chapter, starting a new chapter, going through healing here with the star. The star indicates healing, recovery, but it could also mean having hope and faith. At the same time, it could also mean somebody may want to heal this connection with you or vice versa. So the death card indicates transformation, a new beginning also resulted from a, an ending, okay? An ending of a relationship or a connection with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, you know, connection that maybe either one of you or both of you may have hoped that it was, uh, that it could go somewhere, but it didn't just, it didn't take off, okay? So it looked very solid in the beginning, but it didn't take off for whatever reason here. Seven of Wands, it may be because of somebody blocking somebody, uh, seven of Wands also can mean stubbornness or somebody who wants to, you know, always be right. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. Again, roles can be reversed. It could be you or your person, but there's an energy here where somebody feels that, you know, like they are right all the time, okay? However, Seven of Wands may also indicate somebody defending their heart, defending themselves, not wanting to get hurt again, standing their ground, having their principles, their boundaries, not ha um, not allowing people to cross it again. So this may actually be your energy. Scorpio, again, roles can be reversed here. Maybe you're closing out the old chapter, starting a new chapter where you now no longer want people to walk all over you or you, you've just set your boundaries. Now you know what you want and what you don't want. Maybe it could also be your person with the world here. Uh, could indicate them wanting to close out the old chapter, start a new chapter with you. Maybe they feel like you are blocking them. You're not allowing them back in to your life. Again, it can be reversed, but death here Ace of Pentacles definitely indicates a, an ending between you and somebody right now. You are in separation from this person. Um, you're separated from this person because the devil is in reverse. So this just means that somebody may feel that it is time to let go of a connection that does not serve their highest good or that because somebody is negative or or that this connection is unhealthy in general, okay? Whatever it could, I mean, something may have happened in the past here with a magician in reverse. This may mean true colors may have been revealed because the magician usually is a trickster. So they don't really show you this, you know, how they go about tricking you, right? So until it's been revealed, this is when the magician is in reverse. So this looks like there is a dissatisfaction here with the Four of Cups in terms of, maybe in terms of love in general, Scorpio, a lot of you are dissatisfied with you know your past uh, past love experiences or this recent past one it could be any past relationships but look there could have been offers but you know this guy it doesn't matter he or she's not gender specific he's folding his arms is it the girl okay never mind it doesn't matter it's not gender specific so it just looks like dissatisfied when it comes to love offers in general or maybe it's somebody offering it to someone and someone just says no I'm not interested anymore, okay? Not interested or not interested anymore. And we've got the King of Pentacles here. You could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Um, hmm. I feel like uh, with the King of Pentacles, this may mean also somebody is wondering with the Five of Swords here whether they should fight for this connection or let it go. Because if you look at these people here, these two people, Two people here, they the swords are down, right? So, but there's still one standing up. So, 
it's like either to let go or to actually fight for this connection. So there could be a contemplation going on. And we've got the Page of Cups here in reverse. You could be dealing with somebody like you are, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But there is an immature energy here. Somebody I feel can be manipulative or immature. Um, it may have caused the downfall of this connection or somebody may have lied, may have cheated. It could have been any of these things. But with the Ace of Cups here, this is an indication of a new love offer or a new love beginning. But this may also mean, Scorpio, for a lot of you, you're practicing self-love, self-care, which is very um, obvious here with the Star and the Ace of Cups here. I feel like a lot of you are really going through healing and recovery. But this may also um, be an indication of a new love beginning for you guys or something wanting somebody want is wanting to offer you this new love beginning okay ace of cups may indicate pregnancy for some of you or some of them who knows again roles can be switched here but it may not always mean that a card can mean so many things right but seven of pentacles in reverse this definitely indicates somebody stop waiting not wanting to wait anymore but page of cups in reverse also can indicate somebody feeling like the offer is not good enough it does it does look like there is an offer that's being rejected here, okay? A love offer. Could be you rejecting your person or your person rejecting you. Either or, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice. Let me get some water. When I start talking too much, I tend to lose it. Um, and Excuse me. So we got the Page of Cups in reverse again. This may indicate either an offer being rejected or an offer being delayed. I feel uh, it could be both, okay? I do see a rejection here. But we've got the Queen of Wands here in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay, for some of you, maybe there could be a third party. Maybe somebody could have found out about somebody cheating, lying. Some things could have been revealed here, okay? And somebody is upset because we got the Queen of Swords in reverse, holding grudges. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, Libra, Gemini. It can be any sign, okay? We all could embody any of, in, any of these energies. Again, we got the Knight of Cups here in reverse. So someone may reject this offer or maybe someone feels that this offer is insincere or not genuine okay hmm. for some of you the ending may be because of immaturity or it may be because somebody is lying okay either either one of these things here but since the queen of wands is in reverse i do read her as the third party or the other woman if or the other man but um it may also mean that there's no forward movement and that um, how do you say uh, somebody either is not paying attention to you right now or they're not pe paying attention to you I mean you're not paying attention to them or vice versa okay um, but this may also mean somebody losing passion towards the connection or just not wanting to take action towards not wanting to do anything basically it's like inactivity like inactivity that's what I'm seeing like it's inactive, but there's a lot of guarded energy that I'm getting here with the seven of wands. Someone could be guarding themselves because they just want to heal, okay? They just want to heal. But Scorpio, we're going to dive deeper into your um, reading here. We're going to see what is this Ace of Cups? What is this new love beginning? Um, let's clarify. And also I want to clarify the Queen of Wands here in reverse. If there is a third party, let's see more about this. The Queen of Wands in reverse, this card here. And also with the start, maybe an indication of a new beginning. All your wishes coming true when it comes to love. It may also mean healing and recovery, perhaps reconciliation for some of you. So we're going to dive deeper on the star. Mm. I'm going to choose one more card to uh, clarify, okay? We are also going to clarify the King of Pentacles here, okay? It looks like this may not be you because it's an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, it could be your person, okay? So with it being in upright position, it also could indicate somebody wanting to step up. So we're going to dive deeper on, on the King of Pentacles here as well, all right? Scorpio, if you're interested in the extended reading, link is in the description box below. You can just click on it and it'll take you straight to my Patreon page. For this reading, it's only for uh, Platinum members, all right? And I hope to see you there. If not, I guess I'll see you back here, hopefully. And in the meantime, if you resonated with this reading, please hit like, share, and subscribe. 
subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Take care, Scorpio. Bye.